Ecuador under state of emergency after drug lord José Adolfo Marcias escapes maximum security jail. Here's a summary of the article. Ecuador has declared a state of emergency after a dangerous drug lord escaped a maximum security prison, as he did a decade ago. Fido, leader of the powerful Los Choneros gang, was discovered missing on Sunday. President Daniel Noboa said he would mobilize troops on the streets and in prisons for 60 days after gangster José Adolfo Marcias, a.k.a. Fido, disappeared. Fido, leader of the powerful Los Choneros gang, was discovered missing on Sunday as police were inspecting the Guayaquil jail. Fido escaped jail previously in 2013 but was recaptured after three months. Unrest broke out at prisons in six of Ecuador's 24 provinces on Monday, according to the country's prison authority, SNE. It was reported guards were taken hostage at some of the facilities. Mr. Izurieta said Fido, who studied law in prison, was a criminal with extremely dangerous characteristics, whose activities have characteristics of terrorism. This post received a score of 5,300, with an up-vote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. President Daniel Noboa has declared a daily curfew is in effect. Fido, leader of the powerful Los Choneros gang, was discovered missing on Sunday. He escaped jail previously in 2013, but was recaptured after three months. Looks like that didn't go over all that well with some people. Armed men take over Ecuador State TV. President declares state of emergency. I came in to look for this. I was wondering if it's correlated. Jesus. That guy's got to be some really bad news if he kicks off all that alone. It's more of a problem that has been brewing over the years. This guy is just the headline. Cartels and drug contraband were never really properly dealt with before and in an attempt to crack down on the rise in recent years of the control these have and the violence they've caused, the gangs have been able to react swiftly since they already had a lot of power and influence through corruption. We are either witnessing Ecuador falling into the hands of drug lords or, if the measures continue and there's a clear plan, an end to these criminal organizations. I think the prison system is working. It makes sense that if anyone can pay their way out, it is the leader of a gang. The documentary I saw showed cells that housed 100 people of mixed gang affiliation in a room with two toilets. It is brilliant, they basically just murder each other rather than work together to survive their sentences. Sounds like hell on earth. Not related to this Ecuador prison specifically, but some prisons truly are some of the worst places on the planet. The documentary, Inside the World's Toughest Prisons, has some insane shit when it comes to showing atrocious prison conditions. I've been watching some of those for the past couple of weeks now. You aren't kidding. I think it was the Bolivian prison, maybe? It's just a massive crowded free for all in the cells, and there's like one hole in the floor per cell as a bathroom. Oh, and you get one meal a day, no utensils. Terrible. Don't choose gangs and violence. He didn't escape, the guards let him go. Do you blame them? If they didn't take the bribe their lives and their families would be killed. Extradition to the US is the only way to get rid of these guys. The US really needs to refocus on legalizing drugs to starve these gangsters out. It isn't pretty, but Nayib Bukil seems to have found another way. Given the alternative of de facto cartel, gang control, it is easy to see why most of the population supports his extreme measures despite the glaring human rights issues. The cartels have been moving into legitimate businesses for decades. If drugs are legalized, they are perfectly positioned to dominate the newly legal market. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.